I'm gonna I'm gonna put this loosely. Sketchbook tour. And that's not to get rid of YouTube off my back, but like actually, like I'm spoiler alert. I I didn't I didn't finish it. I hate this sketchbook this sketchbook so much. Honestly, okay, before I say anything, go go watch my last one. That one's way better. It's way more full, it's way more interesting. I mean it's a little short, but like it's way more interesting and it's like better. <laughs> and I actually put time and effort into this. This this is a hunk of junk. This is like oh, I hate it so much. Like I I'm spreading so much kindness right now. But like okay, let me let me explain my thoughts and feelings. This is like honestly, I don't even know if I can post this. Like I'm so like nervous about posting this it's kind of insane anyways let's just get into it um i don't even 32 31 32 i got it um oh we start off like not strong but strong ish we'll put it that way um so we have a drawing of um of shoot atticus <laughs> i um I don't know, I, when I put the Mod Podge over it, it like doled down the colors a lot. So it's, I don't know, I, it's fine, I guess. And like, that's not their hair color. Their hair color is pink, but whatever. It looks like coral, but that's not that color. But <sighs> anyways, uh, Ren, actually, <laughs> if you, the, the, the like anatomy practice video I made like two months ago, three months, I don't know. I don't know, I can't. Time is gone. I don't know when I did it. Um, and I was like, a little sneak peek for the last sketchbook tour. If you guys saw it, uh, I haven't done the first page. This was actually part of the first page and then I ripped it out uh, and I stuck it in this one <laughs> because I'm so awesome. Um, but it's Ren and then um, Freckle from Lackadaisy. Um, and then a Door He Door sticker. Uh, and then um, we'll start January 7th. This is like, this is like, you know how like you have like months or like weeks in advance to prepare like a presentation for class and you decide to do it and block before it's due? This is how I feel. Like my asshole's clenched trying to like show this off because I'm like, people are gonna hate me. <laughs> um, anyways, I kind of like this drawing of uh, I go. Uh, anyways, th also there's a hole through this because I... <laughs> I stuck in um, a gift from Devin for Christmas. Yeah, Christmas. Um, it's it's a it's a. I can't think of the word right now, but it's metal. <laughs> it's metal. Anyways, um, we have Ren again, uh, and then Dars, and then um, Quinn and Ellie. That's pretty cool. Um, and then this isn't filled out because I was like, surely I can't do anything with these pages. And I'm kind of glad I didn't because this, I probably wouldn't have ever uploaded this sketchbook because I know I wouldn't have completed it because it would have been twice work. Anyways, um, we have a drawing of BB. Um, I don't like it. I don't like, I can never get her effing colors right. Her hair is supposed to be way pinker and her skin is supposed to be more of like, a ready undertone like I just don't like how she looks and it's kind of cringe so anyways um and then Ren was my wallet sigh um this is the last day I worked on it um honestly it might have even been like the first of February like I dropped this shit so fast um <laughs> um we have a uh, Jay and Mako and then Ren again. I do like the drawing of Ren. I think he's funny. And then we have um, Ellie and Eric. I just, I just feel like I oh I feel so ill. Stomachs and gnats. Um, and then uh, BB and Ellie. Uh, and then I had my brother's wedding in Mexico. So this is where I was. I was at the Hard Rock Hotel. <laughs> Um, hard rock Nick, tug on my balls one by one. Anyways, um, <laughs> and then we have Sistine, uh, and then, 
I don't mind this drawing of Ren, but this one, <sighs> kill me. Um, I took this from the hotel and that was my room number at the hotel, pretty cool. Um, but then we have Arden and Ellie. Um, because I never draw them together, even though they're like, they have like an actual relationship. I just always draw Ellie with Milo and Minze with Atticus and uh, Arden with Vivian because I love spreading joy. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, when I was in uh, on the trip, there was a, I think, it was, pretty sure it was an Indian wedding, like right below my, um, like my hotel room. So I did a bunch of sketches of people there. It was so cool. I don't know. I really liked it. I just couldn't sit outside for too long because it was like 95 degrees and I was like, <gasps> I'm dying. Oh my God. Uh, anyways. Uh, and then I drew Milo. This was on the plane ride back. I think, I think this is, no, I think this was on the plane ride too. And then this, these two, this was waiting in the airport. And then this was on the plane. Um, but it's Milo and then it's shit <laughs> i go in fun fun um anyways and then this is when the evil art style thing was going on and i wanted to do it so bad i wanted to do it so bad and i didn't anyways thank you for the people who <laughs> someone said i like i think there was two people maybe three that said i like everybody i draw looks smelly which is like not wrong but like i don't know i thought it was funny but like thank you for the people who like said this stuff like I really appreciate it <laughs> um especially sensuality or in in uh morbidity <sighs> kill me like oh my god that's so thank you and then okay I was <laughs> I was replaying boyfriend of death 2 and I was replaying Lawrence's row what can I say and the ending um I can't remember what it's called I don't I don't know why I was replaying Lawrence's Brown. I don't even like this guy. But uh, the ending where he like, basically like, <laughs> fingers your wound. Like, bow, chicka, bow, bow. Anyways. <laughs> uh, and then he kills you. But like, I don't know. I did that with him and Ryan. Anyways, moving on. Um, I can't show this page at all. I think this is really funny. Um, so I had this idea in my head floating around for a few months. And I finally put it to paper. And I really regret it because I hate how it looks. But I was like, hand job, but dick through palm. Do you know what I mean? So I did it, but I don't like how it looks, so whatever. Um, but it was J.M. Mock, obviously. I'm not just going to do it with some random people. <laughs> what do you think I am? A hooligan? A heathen? No. Uh, anyways, then we have Vivian. I hate this drawing of Vivian. <laughs> so ugly. And then we have Ren. And then Ren. <laughs> um... And then some notes for bio and then we have anatomy practice and then Atticus and then <laughs> Bill Cipher and um Ragnavalder. Uh, I do kind of like this drawing of Ragnavalder. I think I just like the hand and the thigh. <laughs> Thighs. <laughs> Anyways mm, this is where we start getting into bad territory. Um <laughs> I, so usually I like when I do my sketchbooks I like to have like the pages like this was on like January 18th this is on January 21st this is on January the blah, blah blah and then so like I would map out my pages like if I would like say I drew something on like the 17th but I didn't want to cut it out yet I would save that spot in my sketchbook and put the date on there and then move on to the next page say it was the 19th or something now and like I would write the date on there and so I can like put it you know what I mean <laughs> and I hated everything I drew this was January 18th I remember it and I wanted to kill myself so I ripped it out and I never touched it again so this is sketchbook tour but it's real um <laughs> anyways so we have Mako I do really like this drawing I think it's funny and then uh as a tip from someone uh where I work someone who I work as a tip from a customer, I got a, um, like, slip being like, have you considered God? And I was like, if you tip me well enough, yeah, I sure do, bud. Uh, and they tipped me, like, five bucks. And I was like, hell yeah, I do. I love Jesus. Uh, anyways, 
Um, and then we have Atticus. Um, honestly, I don't mind it. Uh, do I want to put this drawing in my new sketchbook? No, let's keep it. Let's keep it. Let's save it there. Let's save it for there. I don't know. Anyways, I was bored at work and I grew up. Um, and then, oh, I love this book. I love this book. Uh, Chino and Achebe's Things Fall Apart. Mm, 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 oh, I liked it. Like, okay. Can I, can I swear my truth and honesty about this book? First part, I was like, I'm down with it. I'm grooving with it. And a part two, and I was like, what are they doing? What, what are they doing to Oconquo? Like, that is, they are ruining his character. And then the end. <gasps> Shakespeare ran, Shakespeare walked with Hamlet so Chino Achebe could run with this book. This, this is, it is so, I love the ending so much. Anyway, sorry, I'm done talking about this book. But, oh my god, um, what we're reading for class right now, um, Purple Hibiscus. <gasps> This is, I think, okay, I don't have, I don't really have a favorite book, but this is my favorite book I've ever read. And um, I have, like, 40 more pages to go. I don't think my heart can take it. Oh, my God. If you haven't read it, oh, I think uh, it's by Chibamanda Adichie, uh, Negoze Adichie. Oh, oh, this book is so good. If you haven't read it, please read it. Please, 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 please read it. It's so good. Anyways, um, then we have Minze. Sorry, I like went on a tirade right there. I'm so sorry. I'll shut up now. Um, Minze, uh, I like his face, but he's too girl. He's not supposed to be girl, you know? Anyways, oh. <laughs> um, we have Eric. I hate how he looks here. And then we have Kieran, my lovely, with his, with his tits. You better bring them back. Grr, I hate that he doesn't have tits anymore. Make me so sad. Anyways, uh, and then Abella, but I didn't like it till you, yeah. <laughs> uh, more notes about this book. And then this is, this is an okay page, I guess. Um, we got Ren. Oh, dude. Dude, the song Change by, um, what is it, Big Thief? The person that, the, the, the band that made, um, Vampire Empire, I don't know. Oh, song takes me places and leaves me stranded. Oh my god. Like, that, that's also his song about, about, uh, Strayed and Lawrence. Just saying, just saying. But, uh, yeah, love that song. Anyways, and then Ellie... Ellie, um, Ellie, yeah, yeah. Milo and Ellie, I'm not sure, it's fine, I don't know, I like, I like Ellie's hand, Milo's face just trips me up sometimes, love him, but, oh, another unfinished page, um, I might write something in there, we'll figure it out, well, maybe I'll replay, I guess I just have to replay the game and then figure out one of his quotes or something, that'd be just so weird if I did that. Anyways, <laughs> so it was, um, what's his name? Ogata's birthday, uh, and so I drew him because I love him. I love him so much. And then Ren, obviously, and then, um, Atticus, and then, what is your name? Lawrence. Um, anyways, yeah, uh, pff, dude super cool page there's like tits and um really cool notes uh and ren on here anyways <laughs> things fall apart again i'm not showing this drawing no no sorry uh more notes i didn't even finish writing notes about the last chapter because i was like <gasps> i'm gonna puke and then i remember it was the 27th um, and I got food poisoning, I think. Holy shit. <gasps> uh, I will never, I, I will never eat. I, I, went, I went out to eat. Like, my mom brought something home. I went out to eat at lunch, and then I ate something from work. So, like, in that time span, I went to three different restaurants. 
I will never eat from any of those restaurants again. I am so scared, dude. The worst feeling I've ever had in my life. Um, this is me. This is honestly kind of like a redraw from, like, I think it was Sketchbook 16. I don't even think that one's up anymore. It used to be my favorite, but then I, <laughs> there might be some Dream S&P fan art in there and a little bit of Bo Burnham and I can't do that. Mm -mm -mm. No siree. And maybe a little bit of My Hero. Mm -mm -mm. Never posting that. Um, <laughs> but uh, kind of, I don't know. It's, it's ugly. I was just like, drawing uh it was bad um it, it was yeah um <laughs> this is like the end of the sketchbook okay because there's like nothing after this <sighs> okay me and ella okay i have i i have waited since middle school for husband hotel to come out okay so i feel like i have the right to make fan art for this and redesign them and hate on the show. I have been a fan since I was like 13, okay? Uh, and then I realized how shitty of a concept it was, how shitty of a person Vivzy Pop is, and just how bad the fans are. And just, just, I hate everything about this series. So I needed to get a little ego boost and redesign all the characters. AK, I kind of just wanted to draw Alistair. Anyways, but like, uh, Okay, I, I just need to spread my truth and thoughts. Honestly, it's gonna be like 20 minutes of me just ranting about this fucking series because me and Ella were gonna rewrite the series um, when we finished it. And when we finished it, we were like, I don't have anything. Like this is so nothing that I can't talk about it because it was, I don't know. The first four episodes, we, we went like three hours of just talking about how stupid it was. And then at the end, we were like, oh, okay, I guess. But anyway, let me, let me get into this. <sighs> okay. <laughs> this was the first one I did. It was, uh, you know, in the song, like, Hell's Greatest Ad or whatever, I don't even remember. Um, who's as faithful as a nun? <sighs> ah, me, what can I say? Also, okay, I started it and I was like, dude. I used to be an Alistair fan. Like, I used to love Alistair. Like, I was an Alistair stamp when I was, like, 13. Never gonna happen again. So, here we are. Um, so, oh my, oh my god. Let me just spread my truth about this fucking... Okay. So, I don't know if it's only in his, like, monster design that he has the little antennas on his antlers. I don't even know if it is in his monster design. But I think I saw uh, someone else do it and I was like slapping that one on right there um and then uh, make his antlers more prominent oh my god oh my god it is so I, I had to tell Ella I was like he is supposed to be a deer and she's like no fucking way and I was like exactly <laughs> anyways uh so his ears are just bigger um also I made his sclera completely black I know a lot of people have um I don't know is his sclera black in the show I'm not looking it up I refuse to look that shit up again. Not interacting with it anymore. I refuse. Um, people are like, oh, they have black sclera. They made a deal. And that's why Angel Dust only has one black sclera because he has a deal with blah, blah, I don't even remember his name. With Valentino and, uh, but it's only on set. So he's like half. And I was like, okay, I get that. But I don't give a shit. Um, anyways, so black sclera and he um, is actually black because he is supposed to be. I want you to look at him. I want you to look up this guy and tell me, tell me that because she sure is not. Um, because I know what happened. Vizzy was like, oh, voodoo. That's spooky. <laughs> Let me add it to my character. She didn't, like, it's, oh my God. I can't even, I can't even like stand this show. Like it makes me so fucking infuriated. I can't, if I get into this, I will actually like combust. Like I can't do, anyways. So he's obviously um, black now because he wasn't. Anyways, um, I kept the monocle. I don't know if I like the monocle. I don't like it. Uh, I gave him a deer nose and dimples for reasons. Uh, and then I, I get the whole pointy teeth thing, but also he is a deer. So I only gave him fangs. And I know he's a cannibal, but like, whatever, I don't care. Uh, anyways, uh, Charlie, I, I, I really like my Charlie design. I'm really proud of it, but um, I wanted her to be more goat, 
more princess and more doll slash puppet because I feel like she leaned into that but not really every time I tell someone I'm like I think she's based off a goat they're like there's no fucking way because she doesn't look like one but she is I think she is like 100% I'm sorry I'm going on a rant I'm so sorry I should shut the fuck up uh <laughs> anyways um and then we have Vox I'll get I'll get into Vox this is my first design of him as a human um he is very tech bro wall street man in my head so and i don't like that um this first redesign is just because i the one scene of him like episode two god i hate that i like oh oh i haven't rewatched the show i'm so proud of myself for that um i think it's after his song with alistair whatever stayed gone or whatever the hell um there's like a scene where he has sharks in the back and i was like oh is he supposed to be based off a shark? Because every other character is based off an animal. Besides, like, two. Besides, like, there- It's- oh, This show makes me so irrationally angry. Okay. Um, <laughs> anyways, that's- I'm not gonna get into that. Anyways, Alistair's full redesign. Um, long eyelashes. Kept the long eyelashes. I also made his brows super thick. Um- Totally not because I like drawing red with those eyes over my eyebrows. And then uh, I made I made him way older. I hate that he's like, I'm 27. Bitch! Ew! Ew! Be like 40. Like, ew! Ugh! Um, I made one of his eyebrows white and uh, like a like a white strand, like salt and pepper hair kind of, you know what I mean? And then white eyelashes on this eye, but you can't really uh, tell, so whatever. <laughs> And then I don't want him to have black lipstick. I kind of hate the black lipstick, but I gave it to Charlie because I felt like she needed it. He needs a pocket square. That's a that's a number one. No gloves because in the 1930s, I don't think a lot of people wore gloves. Or at least when I saw they didn't. <laughs> Eye on a microphone. I don't know. The whole microphone being a part of him is kind of crazy. I did see a bunch of redesigns which were super cool of like his head just being a radio and or like a like a microphone I was like that is so cool not me though <laughs> uh no tail coat I think I don't know I'm not keep I don't know if I'm keeping that but like I didn't see any tail coats in like the 1930s fashion so whatever uh his I okay the goat legs or not the goat legs the deer legs I feel like he kept the straight pants from when he died or when he was just alive he just kept the fashion but like since he has these fucking long ass deer legs now they like are like capris basically anyways uh, and then a lot of shoes in the 1930s it, it, in their original design there was a white stripe like across like before the the toe and i wanted to keep that but i didn't know how to do that with like the the the, the feet so whatever the monocle is stupid but i'm keeping it whatever i don't know and then I felt like he could, okay, what are the, so, this is not even, it's like kind of random, but not really. There's, okay, I can't, I can't do this. There's, okay, he says multiple times, he's just like, you're never fully dressed without a smile. And then he says, this face was made for radio. What, like, is that not a double negative? Because like, he's like, I need to look my best. I need to look professional. But this face is made for radio. I think they just heard that phrase and they were like, I get it. I get it. No, you don't. That means you're ugly. Like, I just don't, I just don't understand. The show is so stupid. Um. Anyways, so I gave him like a slick back, but I kind of messed it up because I'm like, who? I don't know. I don't know. Uh. AK, I just don't like drawing slick backs because I think they look a little gross. Um. Tie. Not a bow tie, because the bow tie is fucking ugly. And every character has a fucking bow tie. <sighs> Anyways. Um, and then his suit is white and gray. White and gray. Um, not, uh, maybe some pinstripes, I don't know. Just white and gray, okay? He is not red. He has red accents, dude. Oh my god. Also, before anybody says anything about my box design, I put this in the 1980s, okay? Because I think modern shows are fucking stupid moving on okay i don't like i'm not going to talk about my 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 um lucifer and lilith design because i don't like them so whatever it's it's lucifer and lilith but it's basically just eric um <laughs> me when i draw my ocs uh anyways um 
but I did I did see someone I think draw him with a snake tongue and I was like <sighs> locking in gotta keep that um and then I don't like Lilith's design uh but it's fine whatever Charlie's design oh I love Charlie's design I think I think I I think I really ate with this one I think I cooked so incredibly hard I like she has her goat ears or goat ears and goat horned out 24 7 365 she also has goat legs and a goat tail <sighs> Or maybe a de demon tail. I don't know. Still deciding. But she keeps them out 24 7, 365. Okay? Okay. Um, and her face is like very, like, I don't, very separated. Like at her like top lip is separated like a puppet. Like a puppet. And she has the cheeks from her dad. And she has like the, 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 the black eyeliner and the black lipstick from her dad. And she has... I, I kind of wish I kept the ringlets um, from when I was just doodling. Because, like, the ringlets are so much more princessier. Because, like, I get it. Like, she's, like, a hotel -y. Like, she's, like, you know, she's not really a princess, but she is a princess of hell. But I wish there was more princess to her. Um, and then I gave her a little, like, star earring because morning star, you know what I mean. Um, and then a bow tie. I made it more frilly to lean into that princess stuff. Um, her, her, I kind of wish I researched more, like, hotel management outfits, specifically in the 1980s, um, because I felt like her outfit was too, um, similar to boxes, but anyways, um, I don't know. I felt like the two bows were too much, so I might, I don't know. I did also see someone redesign her with snake hair, like Medusa, and I think that's really, really cool. But I think if I did lean into that, I would have to take out the goat part of her, which I could live without, but like at the same time, I'm a sucker. I'm a whore for half animal people. Like half like a little, little, like little, you, you, we, we know, we know Ren. <laughs> Anyways, this is when, um, his, his monster redesign. When I was watching Stay Gone and... I was like, I like when he gets all angry. He's like, you should have stayed gone. And he gets all like evil and shit. Like that was cool. That was cool. I dug that. Why can he look like that 24 seven? Spreading my truth, spreading my honesty. Anyways, <laughs> so this is my design of him. Um, I kept the, the gunshot. Um, you'll see, actually, no, I'll just show it later. But um, maybe I'll just, okay, I'll talk about it later. I hate this drawing. It's just Alistair and Box. Uh, it's gross. Moving on. <laughs> this is my Box redesign, okay? <sighs> I, I, I have, I always feel like every time someone draws Box as a human, it is not right. And I know it's up for interpretation. People can do whatever the hell they want, but it's never right. It's never him. And including this, this is not him. But it's him to me, okay? It's him to me. You gotta, you gotta understand that. So first of all, set in the 1980s. That's why he has a box, box head, box TV head. Because like, I think the flat screen is so fucking ugly. Also, changed his body type to make him a little bit chubbier and kind of hairy and a little bit masculine instead of this little twink bitch who has the same exact body type as the 500 other little twinks. Okay, so. There we go. <laughs> Anyways, I, okay. I, I wanted him to have the mustache because like 1980s, like TV show host, you know, slutty mustache. You know what I mean? Uh, he has his chest hair out for some odd reason. Also, it, I do have a reason for it. It's because like Alistair is so like put together and like clean and you know, all this shit. And he just has his fucking like tits out. like. That's real. He gets it. Um, and then I was so proud of me for this. I know it's not 1980s. I know it's not the fashion. But like the little the little buttons on each side, they they slowly get in closer and closer. Like the Wi-Fi symbol. I ate with that. I'm not gonna lie. I ate, I ate so hard. Um uh I don't I don't know. Pinstriped, uh one side is like vertical and one, one side is horizontal. I don't know. I wanted him to be boxy and sharp because, like, 
and I get the whole point of his character being like he's constantly evolving to fit in with new people and like all the new residents in hell and like gain all the support he possibly I keep hitting my phone I'm so sorry gain all the support he possibly can but I just I just hate the tv I hate the flat screen it is so ugly it is so fucking ugly it's so stupid I hate it so I maybe I did see a redesign <laughs> sorry I like I know I'm talking so much like nothing's making sense I saw a redesign of someone who drew him and he did have a flat screen tv head but his chest where his voice comes out of was like a box tv so he still sounded old and he hated that about him and I was like that is so fucking real that is so real I kind of wish I kept that or like something akin to that but like uh, it just I don't know he has really high waisted pants um he has a glitched eye I don't I don't know I his design is fine and then okay this is why I was like saving the transformation okay so his his head would like start like like digging in you know and then it would start bleeding um also the transformation is painful like he does this but it fucking hurts okay I want it to look like it hurts I want him to be writhing around in pain but he does it because he's that bitch I guess um <laughs> and then flowers and like just like mossy growth overgrowth and like you know all that shit just start to like bloom off of him and like he starts to smell at the end of this he smells like absolutely decaying bodies like he smells like ass which just irritates him beyond belief because uh, I'm sorry this I'm talking about this like it's my OC like this is so fucking oh my god if 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 like 14 year old me could see me right now um I can't anyways he hates it because he like that's like he's that guy he's number one he gotta keep that up the appearances even though he has a face made for radio oh gosh I can't stand the show um but like he keeps up the appearances but like he smells like shit when he does it like he's a decaying body dude anyways so uh the whole digs into a skull and his teeth like imagine your teeth like it like imagine your teeth being like say that say these are your front teeth they're like doing this like they're going up like someone is ripping them up like i want that and so his like face starts to protrude you know uh, more flowers and then antlers begin to shift and grow you know that's fun uh, and then ski skin starts to peel off like it starts like rotting and peeling off okay um and then the nose breaks obviously and it starts just like elongating into like an actual deer nose you know his jaw falls off and it breaks into a smaller like a deer jaw and his hunched position gets more prominent and he, he he has more flowers and he's just always casted in shadows besides for the bullet hole in his head that's completely through that's just like light that's just light you can just put your whole hand through that bitch like also what pisses me off is and actually i can't never mind i'm done uh anyways that's my transformation of him uh last page <sighs> worst page um, I have, okay, this is my husk redesign. Honestly, I hate husk is, I, 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 I can't. I, husk was my driving force through this entire show. He did not deserve anything that happened to him. And, and then he started singing, you're a loser, baby. Like, that fucking song I try to let people have their interests. I try to let people enjoy the stuff they like. But if you ever play that shit around me, I will fucking snap your neck. Like, that is like, that song is so bad. They made him sing that. Also, Angel, like, Husker Dusk. Why can't, oh my god, why does every relationship in the show need to be a relationship need to be romantic it's so like i feel ill i feel ill about it why can't he just be like a father figure why can't he just be like a mentor but no let's make them fuck let's make them like let's ship them together guys okay 
anyways let me talk about his appearance and first of all okay i was so confused by his appearance also this goes along with baggy i had no idea what the fuck baggy was what is she don't know don't care him i thought he was a moth i thought he was a moth he is i looked this up on the wiki because me and me and my friend were fucking confused he he's what was it and no no it was like a winged cat that is a moth you dumb bitch but so anyways i didn't even, i didn't know if i was gonna lean into bat or into cat so i leaned into cat um because there was one reason there was one redesign i don't know who what, what if, how many times am i gonna say that but like it was just so well done i follow the person on twitter i wish i knew who they i can't remember who they are but they, it was so well done so he leaned into that. I just don't like how this looks. He looks too girl. And I hate, I hate how he looks. So I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. And then I think Vaggy might be the most frustrating character. Most frustrating character. Because Angel Dust and, and Nifty and all of them. I just hate them. I hate them. There's no redeeming in them. They suck. They suck as characters. They are ruined. I can't even look at them. With Vaggy, she had potential and they ruined it. Ruined it. They Okay. I hate her design so fucking much. I think her design is so fucking ugly. One of one of the like original designs, I can't I don't know what year it was from. It was like 2016 or something. But like she had this like short like 80s bob and like she had she she looked cool and then they just ugh, they made her so ugly i hate it and also okay this isn't even a let me let me get into her name first okay spoilers she is an angel right or she was an angel she was an angel and so she was created by adam and he Named her after the best thing in the world, Baggy. I wonder what that means. I'll let you. I'll let you put it together. I'll let you put it together. She. She had no one. Absolutely no one. She was on the streets, and Charlie went to save her. She. No one knew her. No one knew her. No one knew who the fuck she was. She could have changed her name. And she fucking kept vagina. I, I, I just, I don't. I just, I just can't do this. Like, it's so, anyways, okay, I'm done talking about her name. It's just so fucking stupid. Also, okay, let me talk about her personality a little bit more. Just a little bit more. What other, okay, look, quiz time. What interest does she have? helping charlie okay okay what is her backstory based around charlie saving her okay what motivation does she have helping charlie um what does she do in her free time hang out with charlie does she have any other thing to her besides charlie nope nothing not at all. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. She could have been a badass. She could have been cool. She could have found hobbies and interests and all this cool stuff. And hell, she was raised in, like, heaven. And she could have been like, whoa, hell has cool stuff too. She, she could have learned to be a person in hell. But no, let me just be Charlie's girlfriend. Like, I like that trope. But when it's done right. When it's... There's like... Oh, I just... I, the, there's like a good there's a good I hate to bring this up this is totally like I'm just talking about this show it's so annoying there's a good not quote I'm paraphrasing a lot in the 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 series the dangers in my heart great I love this I love the series I gotta swear my truth I love it there is a part in the manga where the main character basically goes like I'm so like I don't need to be around you constantly because you showed me what, how beautiful the world could be. 
you should, like, she could have had that thing, but no, she just needs to be fucking Charlie's little fucking Simba. Oh, I can't, I can't deal with characters that their whole personality is their girlfriend, is their boyfriend, is their significant other, unless it's done to a point. And this is not done to a point. They were just like, oh, uh, we need a reason why she's in hell. Let's make her gay. Like, it's so, oh, oh this is. The show makes me want to rip out my hair. I can't do it. <sighs> Anyways, into her final design. <laughs> so I wanted her to have not a similar look to Lucifer because I didn't like his look, but she's an angel. She, did, oh, oh, don't get me riled up. Don't get me riled up. The fucking episode where she's like, Charlie, I'm an angel. Uh, Charlie's whole thing is let's redeem people she literally she li she was like how could you lie to me your whole thing is redeeming people what the fuck are you talking about like it's not why <laughs> the show so much anyways so anyways I wanted her to look more angelic because like it is so the, the angels designs in these shows that is not an angel why do the angels look exactly like demons? Huh? Explain it. Because I just don't get it. I just, I, I don't get it. I don't understand. I just don't. Anyways, I'm done. So, um, I get the whole point of her long hair. I get it because, like, as an angel, she had the short hair and had to keep it for when she was an angel. But, like, let the bitch have short hair. The long hair is so ugly. Why does she have a macrame hair pattern? Like, I get she's a moth, which I didn't fucking know. What the hell? Um, but like, ugh, ugh. It's just, ugh. I hate her long hair. And also, the fucking X over her eye. What in the fuck was that? I, it makes no sense. Like, is that supposed to be an eye patch? It's not part of her hair. Is it just an X over? Like, is it? I, I can't stand it. Like, it makes me. So I gave her an eye patch. I gave her an eye patch. And then I, I gave her a different build from being fucking five pounds away from like underweight. Like, I can't. I can't. Oh, the body types in the show is just so frustrating oh my so i gave her a muscular body type you know maybe it's so, like fucking f food for thought when she was in heaven she liked working out she liked being athletic and so she still had that interest when she came to hell she kind of like learn about how to do it in a different way and learn about her mother all the fucking i just i hate this show anyways so i i gave her a muscular body type not really really well but like whatever and then her, I, I don't remember this scene. I'm, I'm basing it off of my friend's memory. But a, she when she got like, you're staying in hell, bitch. She got her eye like stabbed or whatever. And then her wings ripped out. And they grew back. Bitch, you are not a lizard. Like, so she has scars on her back from when her wings got ripped out. And she doesn't fucking get them again. Oopsies. And then I, okay, so another, another series, Dungeon Meshy, you know, what, delicious, del, del, delicious in Dungeon. I really, really like that series. I want to read it, but I also just want to keep watching the show because it's so good. It's so pretty. It's so, oh, I love the show. Please, please watch it. Especially if you're into like Golden Kamui. Oh, you would love the show. Anyways, so I, I don't know a lot about, I, I just get spoilers on Twitter. But like Fallen, like her, her design, she has like this whole like Valkyrie bird thing going on. And I see a lot of people draw her with like feathers and like, like feathers as body hair. And I dig that so much. So I gave it to her, right? Um, I also didn't design her, her clothes because I was pissed off at this point. I couldn't even think of designing her in her clothes. I just wanted to draw little bit of tits and some abs um anyways i'm done um and then uh, i like i think it's pretty much confirmed 
I, I don't know, um, that, uh, Alistair and Lilith have a thing, like, he is not a slave, but, like, uh, in a contract with her, um, I just, so I drew, I drew, I did, I'm so frustrated right now, like, the show, I just didn't, I didn't want to talk that much, I said this would be 10 minutes, and it's almost, like, an hour, this is so stupid, and it's just me talking about the shit, oh, um, I'm done. Um, sure. I, I didn't even, I don't have anything else. Like, I just, this is for my new one. I was just writing down text. I, I didn't even draw William Afton. I just, um, let's, let's do it. Let's do it real quick, guys. I just, ugh. You know, this is basically what I do every time. Little, little bunny, little bunny suit. Sure. Bunny, 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 bunny. Um, and then, uh, well, I, don't, I, I guess it's a headband. Headband. Um, oops. Buck teeth. Um, braid. Uh, sketchily William Afton. How do we feel, guys? hands and then a knife because he's a murderer um how do we feel about this guy's sketch um that is not how you spell it william afton um i'll save these pages to draw on actually but um this is like i i I'll, I'll upload this tomorrow. Also, I, I don't know. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> um, I just... Ooh, I had so much... I'm so glad I got that out. But boy howdy, am I just like seething with fucking rage. I hate this show. I feel like I have a right to be angry about the show. Okay, um, anyways, I'm done. Um, just wait for the next sketchbook tour. I'm already a little bit into it. Um, I'm trying to say sneak peek, but um, I don't know what pages are cool or not to show. Sneak peek. Um, okay, I'm done. I'm, I'm for real done. Um, but I love and appreciate you guys. Um, have a great rest of your day. Sorry for this shit-ass sketchbook tour. I love you. Bye! Go watch my last one. Bye!